Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, please don't leave me. I need friends. Also my name is Teresa. That wasn't an awkward introduction at all. Anyways, fuck it. I have the Glaminatrix Nocturnal Palette. It took a while to get here, but it's here. And my lord, to quote the Australians, and I do already hate myself for saying this, what a beaut. Hey. Here it is. Anyways, yeah, you can kind of guess what this whole video is about. I'm doing a tutorial, there's gonna be some swatches maybe, who knows, and I'll be telling you what my overall opinion is of the palette. So do you need it, do you not? Titillating stuff, really. I'm very glad I got to say the word titillating today. Yes. Anyways, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then do please keep on watching. I keep forgetting to do swatches in my last couple of videos, so I'm doing it now while I remember, even though I have a full face of le maquillage on my face. But, fuck it, let's get into it. We have the nocturnal, I have my face, I have a face wipe. We have all of the elements needed for this glorious magic. There we go. That's all of the swatches on my face. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Ugh. Let's see if we can get the mirror in here to show you the various aspects of that. Yeah, you can see how bright that green is there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Don't look at my chin. Shut up. Don't need that negativity in my life. And let us look here at this angle. Oh, look at that. It's bright outside. Um, yeah, I mean, mm, hello, chin. Oh, beautiful. The shimmers are like butter. Why is that always the, the simile I used? Anyways, it's beautiful. If you want to see how I did this look, son, this bit, then uh, that was the next part of the video. Can I just say that I was so sad when I got this because initially two of the shades were smashed, but I managed to repress them. Uh, they were this shade, which is Milky Way, and Constellation, which I actually used today. But let's get on into it. I've done one eye. Let's attempt to do the other one together. Mm -hmm. I'm taking this BH106 sort of pencil brush and I'm going into the shade Shadow. And I swear, this is just what I've been doing recently in terms of like getting a sort of a smoky, grungy look. And I'm gonna start here. Now this is actually a really pigmented black. I'm going in really, really gently because otherwise, oh my lord, it, it takes over, you know? Like you can see I'm just brushing it above there and it is uh, it is very much taking over its, its place. Now, I found it kind of tricky enough to blend out initially. Didn't really want to blend. I'm bringing that down here as well. So keep that in mind. It probably isn't the most blendable black I have. But like, whatever, it's grand. I really just am going for my full on lazy bitch these days. Same brush again, and I'm going into the shade Gloom, which seems about right. So this is quite a khaki kind of coloured brown, and initially they don't blend out the best, the, the brown and the black, although, I mean, traditionally they don't blend out the best anyway, so that isn't like unique to this formula. I'm just being a dick and putting everything in the weirdest possible order because this is the way that this makes sense to me. Yeah, there we go. Just popping that on there. Again, you can see these do have like a lot of pigmentation. I'm going in like really, really bloody gently. So there you go. Honestly, it's sort of like I, I drew a target around raccoon eyes. I don't know what I'm doing. Same brush again, because I'm a lazy bitch and I'm going into the shade Murky, which like in my mind is such an odd name to call this because like it's not really that murky. Although when you see it in the pan anyways, it isn't very murky, but when you get it onto the eyelid, it is. Although maybe that's just my shitty fucking eyelids. Who knows? I'm sure Glaminatrix do, they're like God Teresa. Yeah, not that they're watching, but there you go. Oh, I have to say, like, so there was obviously, like, some issues around, like, people getting damaged palettes, which, oh, how much does that suck for the brand? Like, people were so excited about this particular launch, and for an indie brand to get that much kind of fanfare behind them, that is such a big deal. And then it just seems that the way that it was packaged, the formula, etc., it just wasn't amenable to shipping, 
which is just like heartbreaking for a little indie company. But oh my God, they were so fast on like the customer service and they were like, yeah, we're gonna replace ones. Now, like I said, mine arrived a little bit damaged, but I was able to repress mine and I, you know, they offered to like send me out replacements, but I was like, no, no, like they're fine. Cause obviously like that's gonna cost them a bomb taking that out of their pocket. But I think, um, I think their response to all of this is the thing that people are really gonna remember is just how helpful they were to all of their customers. And I think that says an awful lot when you're a brand that has minimal resources. You look at the likes of like Pat McGrath and they are a nightmare to deal with with customer service. And then they're Glaminatrix, the little indie company, and they're blowing it out of the water. Same brush again, and I'm going into fog. I mean, I do feel like I'm somewhat recreating some bits from like, the Melt Gemini palette, which I'm not against. I will say, and I've said this many a time before, I don't think Melt do the best formulas. Oh God, Emily's gonna come over and murder me along with Kerry. But I just, I think they're not the absolute best. I think this operates much better in terms of formula and gives you the same sort of color story. So on that front, I'm just saying Glaminatrix has definitely beat out Melt. And in saying that, I feel that Emily and Kerry and probably a few others will probably beat me out as a result. And then I'm just taking that shade and bringing it down here as well on the lower lash line. I swear I'm just copying the same sort of shape I'm doing these days. I don't know about you guys, I'm finding it really hard to like come up with ideas or do something different but I suppose like it's really hard to do anything that's like new new because like everything has been done like it's an eye what more can you do with it you know in the words of a great poet and scholar fuck it that'll do I'm just taking this melt brush I believe it's the Meshla yeah I know my brushes and I'm going back into fog and that's right I'm popping it out there towards the, the hair to make it look like a big old dirty bruise because it's fashion. I know fashion. I can do fashion. I can't really. Uh, it's coming up to a bank holiday weekend here in Ireland and we are going back to Mayo um, to see my dad because it is his birthday. Um, but unfortunately one of my lovely cats uh, passed away. Um, not like in, in the last couple of days and it's been really upsetting because I obviously hadn't been around because obviously my landlord doesn't allow me to have cats and the less said about that the better but um yeah unfortunately she passed away old age and um yeah it just it sucks and I hate that I wasn't there for her but my mum was and my mum's the best person ever so I know that she was in exceptionally good hands and was definitely cared for to an ex like a frighteningly good standard like probably better than I would not that I like uh, I don't know <laughs> but yeah we're going home and I'll see where they've like buried her that sounds so morbid but they've like planted they put her like under her favorite tree and they planted like flowers and dad got like a little water fountain so it's all very sweet and like wholesome so it's not a you know it's sad, but like, you know, I'm trying not to like cry because <laughs> I've spent a ridiculous amount of time crying because I'm that person who like, you know, when an animal dies in a film, I'm like, Aah! human dies in a film and I'm like, hmm, it doesn't affect me. I think that's a lot of people, to be fair. So I don't think I'm unusual in that. I'm now taking the Sigma E36, like little blending brush, and I'm going into fog again, but this time, I'm going down here because this is smaller. I know, I'm so good at my sizes. I'm very popular in that sense, just knowing the sizes. They take me out at all of the big competitions and go, is this one bigger or smaller? Sort of like, you know, when you go to the opticians, better or worse. But I say bigger or smaller. And all of the terrible connotations that come with that. I don't know, my mind is all mushy. Anyways. I'm blending away here, uh, not really sure what I'm up to, um, which is, I mean, let's be real, kind of typical of my uh, modus operandi, you know? 
I would have been using all my fancy terminology. Oh yeah, it's all that solid book learning. And then I took a Spectrum B10 and I went into the shade Murky. I, this is such a funny shade because like in the pan it looks so like bright but then when it does get onto the eye it is actually quite murky. It's an unusual one. So I'm just like patting that on there. Just like peck, 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 peck. I know. I know. Sometimes I honestly surprise myself with the level of proficiency and sheer expertise, frankly, uh, that I have in this domain. Can I blend? No. <laughs> what can I do? Don't know. Talk shite. Yeah, I'm Irish. Just comes with the, with the birth cert, you know. That and a sack of potatoes, you know. We all get a commissioned sack of potatoes upon our expulsion from the womb. Oh Christ, I'm in a really weird... Look, you can tell I didn't sleep last night. I've been having a very bad bout of insomnia lately, so... <laughs> Enjoy. Anyways, I am just blending away into the ether or, as it's known, towards my temples. Oh my god, I'm so proud I remember the word for temples. <laughs> I'm setting the bar low for myself today. And then the Sigma E36, and I'm going into murky again, and this time just pop popping it in there because, you know, I have not very hooded eyelids, but they're getting more hooded as I'm getting older. They're just like, trying to close themselves to the world. They're like, fuck it lads, we've seen too much. Keep this shit closed. Don't watch shit. None of this is good. So, thanks eyes, super helpful. Yeah, it's very annoying. I like, look at Elena, who is like a most annoyingly like, ugh, open eyelids. And I'm like, you bastard. If all of that real estate, and here I am, like, with all of this, nonsense although this one is not as bad as this one so you know i'm not gonna range too much because i know it's not that bad but it's just fucking annoying <laughs> first world problems and for only two euro a month you too can stop Teresa from having hooded eyelids no i don't feel that troke work campaign is going to take off anytime soon <laughs> And then I'm taking a Jessup 231, it's a Lux Petite Crease, and I'm going into the shade Gloom. And I'm just gonna pat that there, you know? Sort of like how I interact with like new people, like pat pat. Like, hello, how are you? I do not know how to communicate with you effectively. I shall pat you, and then doubt myself, and then run away! I'm joking, I don't run away. I don't have the cardiovascular strength to do that. Mostly just kind of amble away or waddle, really. Waddle is more like a like a like little penguin, but not as adorable, unfortunately. You can tell I'm tired because everything has like just fallen away, like all attempts to like self restrain. I'm like blah blah blah. So there you go. This is a this is what it's like, it's like when I've had like not quite a meltdown, but like one of those days where like everything has kind of fallen apart a little bit. So. You're welcome. So you can kind of see that black does very much want to stick where it is, but don't worry, that's fucking future Teresa's problem. That's that's her shit to deal with. Taking the uh, Sigma E36 again, bleh, words, and going back into gloom, and we're just kind of going to work up here just to attempt, attempt being the, the operative word here, to blend that out. And while I remember it, because I swear my brain is just switching off, um, which is a great sign considering I'm meant to film releases and rants a little bit. I'm just bringing it down here as well. Thank God I have tea on with me. My God. To be fair, I know all of you just watch it for her. I'm just, I don't facilitate this session. <laughs> I just grand. I don't mind. I enjoy myself. And that's all that really matters. Yeah, there we go. That blending helped a little bit. Not that I can be bothered to do much else, but fuck it. That'll do. Ah, oh, my love, my life, my Zoeva 225, gifted to me by the fabulous, fucking amazing Daniela. I'll never forget you for this one. And I'm going into the shade Shadow. A shadow called Shadow. And with this, what you want to do is just pack that on. I know, I, but there's a lot of packing. Pack, pack, pack. Like a sort of a raccoon. You know when they take like the candy floss and they put it into the water? Oh, God. Has anyone else seen that video where they like... They're all excited and they're like, oh my god, I have candy floss. And then they go to put it into the water because that's what they do with their food. And then it dissolves and they're like, huh? God, I love animals that have little hands. Like, 
red pandas, raccoons. God, I love them so much. Yeah, you can see, look at that. Look at what this brush does. You try and tell me this isn't like some sort of a magic wand. Not that kind of a magic wand. Don't think. No, probably could, like lengthwise. But sure, that would be very unsanitary. And that is not what the Weaver wanted us to do. Anyways, blendy blendy. God, I'm gonna have to fucking cut out so much of this. Did I? Did I cut any of this out? Probably not, because you're also a lazy bitch, Teresa. Who fucking hates editing. If I was a rich person, I would have somebody edit my shit, because I like filming it. Fucking hate editing it. And in a surprise that came to nobody, the, the Sigma E36 gone into shadow. Wee! And yeah, just blendy blendy. Bring it in here. I know. I know. Such a style, such a panache, such grace. Okay, because I'm a glutton for punishment, going back in with the Jessup 231, and I'm going back into Gloom, in that poopy brown, and I'm just popping that there, and swishy, 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 and then the Spectrum B10, and murky, yeah? You know the one, the green, that is very deceptive. And plank it there, plank it. See, I do know other verbs. Ugh, thank God I'm not in America. You know how they have to do the SATs where they have to show, like, all the words that they know, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I'm taking the Meshla and I'm going back into whatever that one was. Fog. That seems appropriate, considering my brain fog. And swishy, 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 swishy. Everything's mess. Okay, this is like the fucking easy bit. I'm just taking a blank canvas, E10, and I'm going into the shade Constellation, which was one of the ones that I had to repress. And I really wanted to check this out just to see if it impacted the formula. Uh, plot twist, it does not. And I'm just sweeping that up here in the brow bone. And I mean, look at how gently I'm placing that. But hopefully you can see it gives, ugh, the most disgustingly beautiful shimmer. Fuck you, Glaminatrix. <laughs> you take forever to get here and then you give me something beautiful. Like very difficult to do a negative review, lads. You know, is that not what the internet wants? big chunk of negativity. Here I am being all like, hey, you can great, meh, meh, meh. God, I hate you, Teresa. There we go, that's our, our negativity in there for the day. I feel better about myself now. And now there's a wave at 225. I'm going back into shadow and let just packy packy. Uh, like we're some sort of a, you know, like a little gerbil. Just trying to make her a little nest. And Fuck it, that'll do. Anyways, I'm going to go cut the crease, we'll come back, yada yada yada, finish off the very last bits. It's fucking simple. Okay, so I did the laziest possible cut crease, didn't even cut it out properly, just fucking whacked a ton of concealer on. I know, not even a paint pot. Uh, I'm going straight to Robert Welsh jail. Um, not that he knows or cares, but you're like, you know. That's how you summon them, you know? Anyways, just going to pop a bit of glitter glue on here, cause, oh, fuck it, why not? Um, I will say uh, the palette that I have, and the reason why I'm saying the palette that I have is that they've slightly changed it since due to the shipping issues. The palette that I have, the shimmers are very loosely pressed. So once you go in at all, it's just like, Bleh! so, you know, if you have the same version as me, you probably all already know that, and um, if not, as pointless information. But yeah, there you go. I am using this NYX silicone kajigger because it is life, and I'm going into the shade on dusk. And I'm just popping that there. And when in doubt, you can also go in with your finger. Pop that there. It's all good. Now, I found with this, because unfortunately this little applicator, I need them to do like an even smaller one so I can be even more annoying and finicky. It just wasn't giving me the exact thing I wanted. So I went in with my Zoeva 238 and that gives me kind of the precision that I want. When in doubt, my God, this is the most wonderful brush I own. Well, maybe not, but like it's up there. It's like one of my favorites. Anyways, take a bit on the finger because we're gross and we're disgusting and we'll just pop a bit there just in case uh, you didn't see the full effect. So there you go. And now what I'm gonna do is take the Zoeva smack her in the desk, cause fucking chaotic energy. And I'm taking this and I'm going into the Milky Way. And actually that's a bar I haven't had in years. And I'm just popping that there. And 
you can see hopefully it's super super bright so I always like to put like a really bright something in a corner just to widen the eyes to make it look like I've slept I haven't and then glitter glue again uh, again I'm using the Too Faced one which is discontinued the bastards but I'm hoping now that maybe Jared Blandino et al have left maybe they might you know, consider it. Maybe if we all band together as a group and just say how much I need it, um, they'll bring it back just for me because I am that conceited that I think they do that. Anyways, taking this NYX applicator and going into the shade Luna. I did squint there because I can't see properly, so there we go. And yeah, taking a smack on there and there we go. You can see with this formula, it doesn't necessarily take on that well with the silicone applicator, which is a bit unusual, but fuck it. We have to try different things. So I'm just popping that there. And then, are you surprised? I'm gonna take my always trusty, always true, Loewe 238, you never let me down. Except for that one time. Joking, you never let me down. And then, Taking a bit on my finger, because we're gross and disgusting in this house. And just smack that on there. Anyways, take the silicone thingy again, and I'm going into night vision. And this one in particular is quite loosely pressed, so I did end up like smashing a whole load of it around the desk earlier, so that's for future Teresa to clean. God, why did I ever get a white desk? It just shows up all of the dirt. I can't even lie to myself and be like, no, everything's clean, because it's there. It's in... Not quite black and white, but like white and several shades of green. Anyways, we'll pop that there. We'll take this away, because why not? And we'll just clean that up, get a little bit more precision in there. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll do. And then finger again, because we're gross and disgusting in this house. And oh, I know, such, such amazing style. Taking the blank canvas, eating, and just being a lazy bitch and going backwards and forwards. I know. I know. I probably should have just done one colour, like in retrospect. I should have not been the greedy bitch that I am and just gone with one colour and been like, oh, okay, I should have gone with like the inner corner colour there, or maybe the, the green, instead of like this whatever fucking oil slick I went for today. Anyways, less is more, Teresa. Less is more. But I wanted to try all of them to see what the story was, because I'm greedy. But you can see. They, they all kind of blend pretty well. And then I'm just gonna finish off by taking my Zoeva 225 and just kind of doing that, just to get it to blend a little bit further so it isn't quite um quite as harsh a line. We'll take a little bit of shadow on there as well. Not too much though, because otherwise it'll go bananas. Because that is a very pigmented black. It does just kind of want to stick where it is. There, that'll do. I'm going to fuck off now, finish off the rest of whatever nonsense it is that I'm doing. I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think of the palette. Don't, don't leave. That's just rude. I added some gems, but not that many, because apparently that's the thing now that I'm doing. Fucking hate this foundation that I have on now, but like, whatever. It'll do for filming. Anyway, this is the whole look. It's done. It's relatively presentable. I did fuck up the liner on the inside, but I, I won't tell if you don't. Fuck, shit, I already told. Anyways, it's done. It's all completed. I'm gonna zoom you in now so you can see the full kitten caboodle. That sounded naughty. It's nothing to do with that. Anyways, that's it. Pretty simple. I saw Kerry do like this cool sort of a line thing and I think Smink Berriwenda did it on her like Instagram as well. So I was like, eh, yoink, I can do a better thing too. Not very well. Not very well. But I mean, I love the colours together. Um, Like they all work really well. As I said before, should have just gone with one shimmer shade, but I got greedy. I flew too close to the sun and this, this is what happened. But I think it looks nice. It blended really quite nicely in the end. I'm not unhappy. Okay, so what do I think of this palette? I mean, the colour story. Ah, oh, that's a bit of me. Love a bit of grunge. The, the duochromes in there are just beautiful. The metallic foils, they work really, really, really well. Um, like I said before, they are softly pressed, but they are working on that. And like, just even on the way that they dealt with 
the whole situation with their shipping and ugh, I felt so bad for them but like I also think this has been the best opportunity for them to showcase how good their customer service is. You could have fucking amazing palettes and you could have shit customer service and people won't come back. I know people who like like the Beauty Bay palettes but because Beauty Bay are such shit with their service they refuse to purchase from them again but I would buy from Glaminatrix again just on the basis of their customer service. I think they handled it all really, really well. And considering it's a, an indie brand that has minimal resources, they look, they know what they're doing. In terms of the palette, bloody good quality. Like you get what you get, it is excellent. That black, be very careful. <laughs> it will ruin your life <laughs> in a good way. Like, you know, you look back in your 90s and be like, oh, what fun we had. We ended up in jail, but it was quite a kicker of a time. Oh, that is really nice. I'm so glad I got to press back in that shade and that shade because they are spectacular. Look, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's a 9.5 out of 10. I'm taking the 0.5 off just because it did kind of suck. It was a little bit like, not bashed up, but like the formula is so softly pressed. But I'm, I'll bump it up to a 10 because frankly, they're already working on that. That's a moot point for them. I... I'm so happy to recommend this. Uh, I think they did so, so well. And it's just great to see indie brands fucking killing it. But anyway, that is it. That is the whole video. Do please like, comment and subscribe because it's fucking polite. Um, and one of us has to be because it's definitely not going to be me. And do please share because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that is it. That is the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Farewell. Bye.